guys, it's Cheyenne. This wasn't something I was initially planning to make a video about, uh, but the more I kept thinking about it, the more it was frustrating me, the more upset I was getting. And I feel like I'm the only person who is really genuinely like, why is this happening? So we're gonna make a video about it. Tom Hooper is directing a Cats movie. Who was asking for this? Who was asking for this? I, like genuinely, if this was something that you've wanted, America, like, I, I want to see the receipts. Who was asking for this? This is literally the worst idea that I think I've ever heard. I have seen people talking about this, but I feel like I'm the only person who is talking about this that likes Cats the Musical. Um, uh, it's not my favorite musical, it's not the best musical in the world, but most of the comments and stuff I've seen have been like, well, I don't like this musical, so I don't care. And it's like, okay, that's nice for you. You get a cookie. You think you're too cool for Cats. Like, ooh, you're so edgy. Is Cats high art? No. Is Cats a great musical? No. But I think that it's fun, and I think that it's charming. I saw it live when I was, I think, I must have been nine or ten, uh, you know, so I was like really in like the age range to see it and I will never forget it because it was one of the first pieces of live like Broadway level theater that I got to see on my own. The thing about Cats is it is such a theatrical piece. It is, there are some musicals you can translate to film and the translation is fairly seamless. Um, but theater and film are different mediums and different disciplines and there are some musicals and some pieces of theater in general, but mostly musicals, that I don't feel translate to theater very well. And Cats is one of them. It's, it's really a string of like character songs uh, that have a little bit of a through line because we have Grizabella, but it's not, it's not something with a plot. The star of Cats is not any singular person, so you don't really have a main character exactly. Grizabella comes close. But on top of that, the real star of Cats is the choreography and the makeup. Cats is a dance show. Cats is about the way that you see these people move and become cats and they, the dancers in it always do really exude that like feline quality. That is already pretty tricky stuff to translate to film. It's not impossible to do, but it's, it's stuff that you film the show. There's not really like, I don't understand where you try, where they're going to try to go with it. Um, because if you do it with, you can't do it with CG cats because the whole point is dance. And if you do it with people in the cat's makeup, that's gonna look just as strange and bizarre because it's a piece that's so theatrical. But I feel like there there are ways you could make that work. There are. Um, there are directors that I could see making that work. I could, I mean, really, like, if, if I was gonna have somebody make a cat's musical, Baz Luhrmann, maybe like Adam Shankman, even Kenny Ortega, because as much as he's not my favorite director, like he's a choreographer, or he was a choreographer first, so he understands filming dance and, and filming dance scenes. Um, you know, or like a Julie Taymor, where it's going to be something that's really avant-garde and, and interesting and weird, because the piece is kind of weird. So like, there are directors that I could see making this work or making it into something interesting but literally I think the last person the last director that I would ever nominate to make a Cats musical is Tom Hooper who decided that was a good idea was it Andy I bet it was Andy Andy I need for you to stop you already took Phantom and ran it into the ground with the film and Love Never Dies. You, you need to stop. You're retired. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. The fact that you picked frickin' Joel Schumacher to do Phantom was already like proof that you should not be trusted to make any choices about anything that you have ever created now that you're old. Like, I don't know if there's something going on in there, but like, honestly, Schumacher would have been a better choice for this movie. Like, it would have been uncomfortable, and there would have been nipples on all the cats, but at least it would have been stylish, and it would have had, like, that would have at least made some sense to me. 
Tom Hooper is genuinely an awful choice to direct this. Now, I feel like I should state, I don't necessarily think Tom Hooper is a bad director. Um, I haven't really liked a lot of his films. Uh, they tend to be a little too Oscar baity for me. Like, here's the thing. For Cats to work, you need a couple of things. You need choreography, like we said, but you need a sense of fun and whimsy. I have never seen a drop of of whimsy in any of his films. I've never seen any fun. Like, and I genuinely can't think of a way that his directing style and this movie would match up in any way. But like, literally, this is just the, I feel like this is the worst possible choice. And it's like, I know that I shouldn't care because no, Cats isn't high art, but there's still some, there's still stuff about Cats that I feel like is redeeming. It is a showcase of a lot of talent and a lot of amazing dancers. And it's got a sense of fun and it's got like a charm to it. And like, People like Cats. It has been a pop cultural thing for so long for a reason. Is it the best musical ever? No, but it still means a lot to people. Even if you don't have the best source material, I feel like if you're going to adapt something, you have to treat that material with respect and embrace the things that are good about it. I don't see Tom Hooper doing that. Like literally, I can't imagine any way that this movie is gonna be any level of good. Like I am so upset right now. I shouldn't be this upset. I don't know why I'm this worked up about a Cats musical. Like Cats is not my favorite musical. I don't know why I care so much, but I do because this is gonna be awful. First off, why did anyone decide we needed this movie in the first place? And who decided to hand it to Tom Hooper of all people? Like this man directed the King's speech. Why are we giving him dancing cats? I don't understand it. And and it's like, like, it flames on the side of my face at this point, honestly. I'm so upset. Like, I'm kind of shocked at how upset I am, you know? Honestly. But it, I... I mean, on the plus side, this is going to be a hot garbage fire. And I will definitely go and see it and probably sneak in booze and just enjoy the hot garbage fire. It's going to be awful. I can't... I literally... Like, this is the first film project that I've like taken an interest in in a while where I can't imagine a way that it would be any good. Like Jem the movie wasn't good and I didn't like it and it's upset me a lot and I knew like based off of the things that were being said and what they were saying they were gonna do I had a feeling it was gonna upset me but I didn't go in thinking there's no way this could be good. I said multiple times it could be good it could be it could, you know but it wasn't. This is the first film project that I have followed where I genuinely cannot imagine any way that this is going to be any good at all. Like, this is going to be awful. Okay, uh, so I'd really like to hear uh, from you guys out there. So first off, does anybody else care about this? Because I genuinely feel like I'm the only person that gives a damn, um, which has been a little frustrating. First off, do you think a Cats movie could even work? And if it was going to work, who would you put at the helm um, whose style you think would actually work for the film? Because I... Tom Hooper! <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!